okay next is the listings so Rosa wanted to add her courses do you see this location it's already like fetched when I mentioned on the onboarding like when you act uh, when you are like collecting the information on the account level it can be automatically fetched and if you wanted to clear and then do it in a listing level you can create for example in your property marketplace under an agent the each property will have a different location yeah that's the purpose of that uh, let's just let it go and let's do on a listing so I am by the Rosa's course introduction to introduction to user experience design is that I'm using a simulator and uh, there is no good images which I can like, take it from here so just took that Georgia one so then copy properly because our listings are in square yeah. so it's best to do it in square all right and if you want to add multiple images you can do so I don't think it's necessary uh, it's gonna be four hundred dollar if you want to like deactivate this field you can deactivate I will show you uh, we can deactivate this offer percentage or like this tagging system if you don't want you can just like deactivate Field category oh yeah we need the category this is our thanks to our uh, teammates they have created this is like this course is for like pool and all those things they need a clear I mean, splendid uh, I don't have um, much. What is the course user experience design um, actually you can classify your category by courses uh, or you can classify this is for which age yeah but they have done it in in both way I wouldn't recommend that okay for now I, I, I'm just gonna like select something okay then description so what is the description we have here focus on this whole system paste what is the what is scroll in the simulator okay, all right good um, I'm gonna add education of the instructor we are already collecting this information um, in the profile itself so we don't need don't need it here they have done it I'm just gonna add it all right say your listing is posted successfully once the item get approved you will find the profile so I'm going back to the listing you can make also a listing approval as well it's up to you okay so I'm gonna approve this Uh, continue listing the, the listing will be available here you see here currently it's under review if I'm going to reference this page you will find no, 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 you, you will find it's like approved yeah see here A nice course by Dr. Rosa course title price description and uh, what is the category location yeah, if there is a reviews the reviews will be here so what are all the other informations is available uh, in this course we have instructors but our instructors is already uh, Rosa and you have syllabus and if you wanted to put the syllabus there you can put as well what are all the things there welcome overview of user experience design requirement gathering all those things so let's do that as well syllabus what you will learn from this course so this is an under the listing this is an attribute so what should I do? I should go to listings and then attributes. I'm gonna create a new attribute. This attribute name is what you will learn from the course. And uh, this can be actually multiple uh, multiple value because this is, a, this is, this is a, I mean you are not gonna define the syllabus here. You are, the tutor is gonna define what is the category um actually we need to select one category what's the category we're going to use until the end of this uh tutorial i will use 9th and 10th okay so 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 it's like you can always like reuse this thing um so this is optional and this is not private of course let's activate this thing 
and uh, if you want to activate this uh, you want to collect these attributes for multiple courses also you can do it yeah it's for information uh, all right uh, i'm gonna like activate this but the example we're gonna use 9 to 10. what are the other information they're asking let me just bring it here uh, they're asking um they are giving the syllabus they also have an FAQ um, so we don't have like a FAQ module we are planning to have but uh, for now if you wanted to put it under the attributes you can put so as well but it, because if you see here we are already under listings then this is an this is an attribute then we can fill only like this whole thing as a value not like we can ask a question and then a value I'll show you how it looks to be uh, let me just create this as well. FAQ, but we can do this, okay? I mean, we can like, um, we can like bring this kind of like feature. So nine to ten, yeah. Uh, I know it's tedious. But I think we should just make it default, uh, activator, the professional and status, and all those things. Select a few things. Okay, so I'm going to select the first few options. All right, so I added two attributes now. These both are open. Okay, let's just see an example. And I'm going to post this time and um, another listing. Should we use still use? We will use still Rosa. Okay, I don't want to do too much. I don't want to take too much time of you. Um, what I'm trying to do now is, yeah, we need a course. Let's do race and cultural diversity in American life history. I already downloaded this images. Press the from no, it's not inspired image. Okay, let's do quickly. It's getting, 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 it's based, yes, we're gonna use the first category, no, 9 to 10th category, we are doing on 9 to 10th, we are 9 to 10th kid, let's put thousand dollars, oh, if I go to add, deactivate the offer percentage, huh? okay, let's, 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 let's just show you how does this thing work, let's say, you do like 25 percentage offer i'll show you how it looks and if you want to tag products what is the tagging thing we can do for example you can use this if you want to allow people to like search by lang languages or even use this languages filter you can do that so i'm gonna use okay let me just type english arabic this they can french Portuguese is even part of the type. Russian. Uh, all right, tag your product. So we, you can change the strings, okay? For example, you can change it to language. Education instructor, no need. Uh, yeah, you see here the syllabus. What do you will learn from this course? So, what are you gonna learn from this course? Pom 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 pom. Introduction to. We're gonna improve this thing. I mean, adding in value can can be in a different UI, not like a tagging thing. Ah, so if you have ideas, bring to us. One, let this is off. Yes, man. Okay, this three should be good enough. All right, frequently asked question. So as I told you, this may not be possible, it may look stupid, but uh, let's just copy paste. Let's see in the UI how it's going to look. I'm not sure um, it support, uh, it support uh, the HTML bold thing. Let's just try that. Uh, but in, of course, if it's a web, this code will work. Um, Frequently asked question. Wow, not bad. Oh, actually, it still looks good. Should maintain this, huh? Where are you? Okay, 
yeah yeah actually i need to like enter then get this thing uh what is the other question we have what will i what will i get if i purchase a certificate I don't b is for bold but you don't need to do this okay i'm making it complex but sorry just thought of like show you enter okay this, this is enough guys uh so let's submit this this thing so when i'm gonna submit this listing let's make it auto approval so under listings configurations make it auto approval i don't want this time to approve myself later we will just hide this offer for making all those things if you want to show shipping charges if you want to hide tax, and, uh, yeah. If you want to even enable stock inventory, uh, you can have. This is an um, not an updated app, so you'll not find the inventory features here. Thank God, you disappoint me. Why you are under review? I activated here. Yeah. Auto approval. But okay, so but no worries. We will approve this time. Race and multi cultural diversity. So you can click and see the listing. Um, no man, man, come on, I'm doing some work. You can see it here. All those informations. So it seems like. Um, It seems like um, yeah. Actually, I was trying to find in the in the web view how is the the, the value is going to look. Actually, that also but you cannot see the values here. But anyway, um, so what is the thing we need to do? We need to approve this thing. So I can just see the content. Yes, yes. Approve, 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 approve faster. So come on, yeah. It's it's late for me. That's why it's like reminding me. All right. It's gonna look nice picture. Okay, we can see the percentage. I mean, when we use offer percentage description, so the formatting is actually is not there. We can improvise this field to take the exact um, formatting when what people type. Yeah, currently it looks like a big paragraph. Oh, not bad. Oh no, syllabus and the frequently asked questions. Uh, maybe we can see this also an improvement. Maybe we can put it like ask them to do like a break So for every values they can show it in a new line. So it looks nicer and The other thing which I mentioned uh, make it like a bolder Accept HTML formatting. Yeah, so now we have that course it's still under Rosa. It's fine so uh, by now I have completed the fundamentals of accounts and listings. I'm going to summarize the same. So, in an educational marketplace, which is our today demo, we have taken tutors as the account. If you want to take colleges or institutions as an account, you can take it and classify the information accordingly. So, in that case, what you will do, you will put colleges as an account and maybe the tutors as an listings. Okay. Um, it's a yeah, that's the account part the listing part. So whatever the informations you wanted to collect under a course So when you think of listing listing is a place where people is gonna like purchase book enroll all these things. Yeah, so So, um, so whatever the informations you want to collect there collect it there. So the reviews functionality is already there You can I'm not going to do that now Instructor we have color uh, covered syllabus. We have covered and uh, we found some improvements we can make But let's say you are building the app on the top of our API Then you can do anything you want in, in whichever the way you like and uh, Yeah, you can also create another attribute called scholarship and then just like put this thing finance is available All right, what is the other information they have here? This is all like other additional information if you'd like to create attributes and put a name and get the value from the, the tutors you can you can you can like get it as well um in the edit uh, edutech uh, attributes i think the team has done uh, any example the token expires let's just sign in again we're fixing this issue as well 
it's it expires after 30 minutes uh sometime not 30 minutes you know i mean like after a few minutes um so it's in there so you can go back sting attributes so they have collected is it this training is going to be in, in person uh, actually they can just ask training mode then in the values you can put whether it's in person or online yeah we made it like this uh, price range no we don't need that yeah so anyway these are all just examples yeah how you're going to do but you need to be creative enough how you want to collect the information so you have the sandbox make as many mistakes you like and when you're stuck go here i have I have explained as much as i can but if you're still stuck you can go here and then see like how other examples are done uh, yeah the screenshot is still uh, from the so old supermarket panel um, all right uh, so we finished the accounts and um, listing so um, I'm gonna do an another video which I'm going to explain um, so after seeing the listings let me just refresh this see here it's latest products um, if I log out you will see the tutors as well um, log out you see the tutors as well see here I think I forgot to activate the location that's why I mean, I mean like in the in the app itself that's why uh, it doesn't show the location uh, feature. Coastal was in blue color. Yeah, and then then these ne things need to be changed as well. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention about the listing categories as well. Yeah, what are the listing categories you wanted to create? You can create as well. You can create until to a four level hierarchy. For example, you see here, this is a parent. I mean the first level. Then this is the second level. This is under English K3. Let's see a third level if they have done it. Uh, no, mostly they have done one, two, only two levels. All right. Um, adding category is straightforward. You just put select a category name and what are the ranks you put, the things will be arranged here. For example, let's say if I want to bring science to the first, by default, everything is first. So that means maybe I can move um, English to the second. This is recently done. The UI can be still improved to make it more easier for you to organize. Um, is it save or not? Oh yeah, it's sorted already. All right, let me just sign should come first. See, English guys, go on to the second page. All right. Um, uh, let's see on the next video how people can purchase and um, other settings like um, the mobile app config this is where where you like um, change the look and feel of your app and uh, another main thing for the app for fully to functional function we need the native integrations as well which is like setting up the firebase this is the most technical part um, yeah we will have a separate video for each of these things because i need to explain um, what is the purpose of the map we already did but the firebase branch we already have it um, so we'll do that and commission model it's 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 a very simple one let's say you want to collect uh, commission from the tutors when they make sale you want to say 10 percentage you can collect 10 percentage uh, it, it will uh, the stripe will detect 10 percentage and send it to your account you can read how this flow work the revenue model here okay there is an image which expands here um, and if you want to have like different percentage commission for different category you can do so as well and if it is a base slab based from like one to thousand or like all those things you can configure all right thank you thanks for watching it's really a, a long video I hope you'll find it useful. Thank you.